Hello you fantastic people and welcome back to Borderlands 3. In this video I've been an exciting one for you guys today. It is the fastest way to level up in Borderlands 3, hands down. It's kind of crazy, you absolutely fly through all the levels. You can get from level 1 to 53 or 1 to 57. If you didn't already know, there's a level cap coming out tonight. Hence the making of this video, everyone's going to be power leveling as quickly as possible before doing a DLC 2, which also comes out tonight. So if you guys want to get to that as quickly as possible, I'm going to show you guys how to do it, where to go, and it's actually super, super easy. Just before we get into it though, if you guys didn't already know, I live stream over on Twitch every single day from just after I post my YouTube videos, and tonight we're doing a huge marathon stream. So if you guys want to come hang out, and if you're watching this around probably the first 12 hours of this being posted, I'm likely still live. If you guys want to click the link in the description, I'm going to leave it there for you guys. We're going to be leveling up, doing DLC 2, and then we're going to be getting these amazing new level 57 builds with the two new capstones, and we're going to be getting all the amazing new weapons, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys want to come hang out, smash the link in the top of the description, or just search Cody McHugh on Twitch. But now back to the fastest way to level up in Borderlands 3, which I will be doing probably several times tonight. It is in DLC 1. Don't worry if you guys don't have DLC 1, I'll be showing a few other places that are great places. This is just by far the fastest. So if you guys have DLC 1, go over to the compactor, and you want to start at the uh, Trash Atlantis Fast Travel Station, you're going to be farming Scrap Trap. He's an absolute machine for XP. It's kind of crazy. He does stuff all damage as well. You can unlock DLC 1, assuming you have purchased it already or have the season pass, etc. You can actually come to this area uh, probably about halfway through the DLC, so it doesn't actually take too long. You can start the DLC from level 1, by the way, so this is actually viable to do from the very start of a character. You can also boost other characters via split screen or your friends or whichever situation you want to go. The new station is just back there, by the way, but I'll show you actually why that's not at all necessary. It's one of the main reasons why this farm is the best farm for getting XP in this game. If we jump down, as you guys can see, this boss fight actually consists of a bunch of regular size scrap traps fighting you. They're basically junkyard scrap traps, but they drop so much XP. For example, one of these guys just gave us 1,300 Guardian rank XP. So you can boost your Guardian rank XP even more if you do need that still, but tonight when your XP unlocks and gives us an extra four levels, it will give us over 1,000 XP per scrap trap kill, which is kind of ridiculous. And the best thing is there's tons of them and they spawn on repeat. Uh, you don't need a particular amazing build to destroy these guys. Any caustic weapon will do. If you want to do it as quickly as possible, any ricochet builds helps a lot because you're killing multiple per shot. If you guys aren't flak and don't have a great ricochet build, there are plenty of other strats to do. If you're Zane, there's a chain build for that that absolutely shreds these guys. But if you don't want to even deal with any builds because you're about to level up, the Breath of Dying is actually one of the best caustic weapons in the game, as I found out yesterday in my Zane playthrough, particularly for this. I power leveled my Zane from level 43 to 53 in under an hour using just a level 4 Breath of Dying. I never bothered getting better weapons. It actually killed it all the way there in like a very minimal time. You can get to level 53 to 57 in probably like 20 minutes just using this weapon. For example, I'll show you guys this in action. By the way, this is a flak that has absolutely zero sorrow for buffs. But as you guys can see, it has a cool effect once you've killed somebody uh, using the weapon, of course. It shoots out caustic, like, bubbles or whatever in every direction. And because there's so many scrap traps in every direction, each one explodes and kills more and more scrap traps. And if you're looking at my XP at the bottom there, it's absolutely flying. Only problem with this strat is I down myself all the time. So if you guys are pro gamers, you probably do fine. But, I mean, you can get up very easily because there's so many weak scrap traps around. Just get up and keep going. On top of that, Scrap Trap Prime, you can kill him if you want. Personally, I didn't bother because he just has some chunky health and it takes a while to kill. But he does drop you a fair bit of XP as well if you want to do this. There we go. As you can see, 28,000 Guardian rank XP. He dropped uh, four legendaries. Not bad. Now we've killed all of the Scrap Trap, Nest, and the Prime. And we've got bulk XP. If you guys actually run over to this area, this is the second best part apart from how much XP you get. Uh, about this farm, if you come out to here and you walk into this corner and jump, or if you just go down there, I personally just jump here so I don't have to climb back up, uh, it actually resets the farm. As you guys can see, Scrap Trap Prime is going to spawn off Scrap Trap Nest, and you guys can do this on yes. repeat, and you never have to log in and out. You get all of this ammo that's on the ground, you never have to get ammo, you just run around and pick it all up as you're going, 
and you just can do this on repeat until you level 57. It's kind of ridiculous. So if you guys are on console, it's going to save you a whole lot of time in loading times and going back in and out of the game. It's a fantastic method and I highly recommend you guys use it. But yeah, that is the fastest way by far to level up in Borderlands 3. If you guys found this helpful or enjoyable at all, feel free to smash subscribe down below. And if you guys want to help me out even more, feel free to smash like and share the video. That way more people know how to power level in Borderlands 3. It's super quick and easy as heck before they go for their DLC to arrive run which i recommend doing by the way getting to level 57 before going through the dlc that way if there's any mission or rewards you get those at max level also don't stress if you guys don't have dlc one i'm going to go through a few options that get you a bunch of xp super super quick that don't require the dlc it is heavily dependent on what kind of uh, build you guys have if you guys for example have a bossing build i would highly recommend just boss farming the fastest boss that you can kill on repeat whichever takes you the least amount of time if you guys are on console i think about places that you you don't have to reload the game for example killer vault if you guys can destroy him super quick if you down yourself after the fight it actually spawns you back without having to do the load time of in and out the game of course if you guys are on pc you don't have to worry about that anywhere near as much because load times are less than half of the time it is for console so you guys can just farm whoever is fastest for you to kill and that will get you a whole bunch of xp personally i'd probably go grave ward if you're on pc because he's probably the easiest boss to kill in this game for the whole variety of builds if you guys have a mobbing build however i'd highly recommend doing a slaughter shaft because there is a lot of enemies particularly if you're on the higher mayhem levels the higher the mayhem more xp because the enemies are difficult more difficult etc plus there's a whole bunch of boss enemies in there which one drop a whole bunch of legendaries which is great if you're leveling up etc but they also drop a bunch of xp because they're just literally so difficult to kill so if you guys can do those with ease definitely recommend doing that it is kind of super difficult to recommend a particular slaughter shaft because it's so dependent on what character you have and what kind of weapons you use etc personally if you want a recommendation i highly rate the slaughter shaft in conrad's hold that's the one i go to all the time because they're mostly flesh enemies and that's the kind of build i have but again it's kind of just up to your build but yeah, that's all the strats i have for getting xp it's super quick in borderlands 3 if you have dlc 1 and if you don't have dlc if you guys found this video helpful or enjoyable feel free to smash subscribe down below i'd really really appreciate that and don't forget to come over to twitch tonight. i'm going to be streaming a marathon stream we're going to be leveling up our characters getting those crispy level 57 builds going get into some dlc 2 and then over to getting amazing legendaries at level 57 and probably doing a whole bunch of melee one takedown seeing as the drop rates for the melee one takedown are super high right now until the i think fourth of april or something like that so we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff 12 to 24 hour stream it's just how long i can manage to keep going for and uh, yeah hope to see you guys over there till then have a fantastic day don't forget to smash the like and share the video and uh adios